So thank you for uh, taking the time to join this call. I appreciate it. And um, we're, we're really excited uh, kind of to collaborate, work together with Google and kind of the intention of this conversation was, you know, when, when we <clears throat> want to uh, create more awareness to conversational technology in particular agents that dialogue flow can enable, we kind of wanted to share with uh, our audience the, the Google product manager and and you know who's behind this and I you know you know for starters please kind of introduce yourself a little bit more uh, what's your responsibilities uh, the different challenges on day to day and uh, kind of we'll take it from there. Sure. Yeah. Um, so everyone, I'm I'm Shantanu. I'm uh, the product manager uh, for Dialogflow. I've been leading Dialogflow now for over two years, um, and it has been an amazing journey uh, because you know we um, Dialogflow was an acquisition. I think, as most of you know, we acquired API.ai back in 2016, um, and it was it was a nice little tool which a lot of developers were using. So I think they had some uh, tens of thousands of developers already on the platform, and we acquired them. But then since 2016, we went through the exercise of injecting more of Google's AI into Dialogflow, uh, rebranded it to Dialogflow, of course. Um, and now we have over you know 1.3 million developers on the platform, which is it's seen tremendous success. We launched it as a GCP offering in 2018, um, and and over the last two years now we have you know thousands of enterprises who are who are you know serving daily traffic. To dialogue flow, so so it's been an amazing journey. It's uh, it's great to be part of it as, as a product manager and see see this and be you know contribute to this you know amazing growth curve that we are seeing. Um, and I think the space in general, conversational AI and audio quotes, of course, are also at the forefront of it. It's 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 a space you know a lot of people talk about you know when will AI be really adopted by the enterprises. This space is already there. I think this is one of the it's first happening. yeah one of the first real applications applications of AI in the enterprise space um, and uh, you know around the world companies are adopting uh, conversational AI for you know, their customer service use cases for transactions uh, and really building chatbots, phone bots, voice bots. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great space to be in. I'd like to dive in a little bit into uh, kind of <clears throat> enabling a voice when when up till today everybody's been using to text with a bot or with an agent and and how is the adaptation how is that coming through and and where does dialogue flow see itself you know in the market share when it comes to telephony and voice versus text yeah so that has been a very interesting uh, learning curve for us as well you know when i think back in 2016 you know chatbots were the buzzword and you know the uh, the sentiment was that chatbots are going to take over everything that's the new navigation that's the new user experience um but what we realized very soon uh, especially around 2017 2018 was that contact centers are not going anywhere um, especially in uh, you know North America, Western Europe, and parts of APAC market, where making a phone call is free, so there is no cost for you to just dial a number, pick up your phone, and dial a number. Um, and there is nothing that really beats the convenience of being able to do that. Having said that, what we did realize was it is it is a horrible experience to to talk to a contact center. You have to wait for you know 15 minutes sometimes half an hour sometimes a full hour you have you are taken down uh, like a rule based tree uh, and humans don't think in terms of trees they think conversational um but 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 that's not how the contact center world works today unfortunately yeah. so so we realized very quickly that voice is going to be super important there is no way a company can think about their customer service journey or their or their cx journey without thinking about voice um, and, and that's where a bulk of customer service interactions were happening. Um, so we wanted to play in that space and, um, and, and we realized that you know, the, 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 the death bell of contacts into that was being sounded uh, a few years ago was a bit premature and, and voice is not going. So we invested a lot. So we, you know, we started integrating with our uh, speech APIs. So you know, 
uh, technology that converts speech to text and also text to speech. And we came up with additional features to make sure that our speech accuracy is as good as it's going to be. And of course, you know, we are we are really, really lucky that we're part of Google and there are other parts of Google for which speech technology is so critical and so important. You know, think about Google Assistant or voice based search uh, or voice based YouTube navigation. Um, so the company was already investing a lot in those technologies and we, we got to benefit from that. So we are very quick to pivot to this voice first strategy. And we launched uh, what has now been a very successful solution, what is called contact center AI solution. Where what we said was, you know, the thing that we do well is AI, you know, conversational AI, speech AI. Um, but the thing that is missing, the missing piece of the puzzle is telephony. And, you know, we had no interest in being in that market right now. So what we decided was we took a partner first approach where we partnered with telephony providers and, uh, and took the solution to market. And uh, so, so that was a very interesting evolution. And I think over the last year or so, we have really tried to make it as seamless as possible. And you know, the dialogue flow one click integrations that we've launched with audio codes and a few other partners is really the next step in that where we make it as simple as clicking a button and getting your dialogue flow agent up and running in your contact center. Um, so for us, that's really, uh the 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 best way to embed ai and the easiest way to embed ai in your contact centers how was uh how was it to work with audio codes kind of in the past few months with uh one click telephony it was it was great i think um i was so uh, you know we started again you know, this one click integration program sometime last late last year so november december is when we started talking to some of our partners and they started you know building uh, this on their own and and audio codes uh, you know we started our conversation sometime in february so i was really worried that with you know just six weeks to go before our launch whether uh, we were able to really put together a solution but i was really impressed and really amazed by how quickly audio codes could you know push this out work with the internal teams, make sure that the, you know, it's staffed, the project is staffed properly. Um, so I was really impressed by the speed, the technical ability, and the infrastructure already in place uh, that existed at Audio Codes. Um, and, you know, we really build this in record time <laughs> and were able to still meet uh, the April launch timelines. And it was a really successful launch. Um, we've gotten a lot of interest in this. Um, so, so, yeah, I think really, really impressed by the team. Yeah, it, it, for us it was it, it was an amazing experience working with you guys. It, it took us all to startup mode. Welcome to the Audio Coach Help Bot. How are you currently feeling? Okay. What is your current temperature red taken from the past 60 minutes in Celsius? 36. Have you been in contact with a known corona patient? Nope. Do you currently have one of the symptoms? Headache, cough, dry cough, fever, difficulty breathing, tiredness, loss of scent of smell or loss of scent of taste? No. You are welcome to come in to work today. Thank you. Goodbye and take care. Okay, and and if I were to call again and answer a kind of yes on one of the questions, the agent would say, please stay at home and uh, consult with your family doctor. This just goes to show, uh, you know, Dalek Pro, for example, has seen amazing uh, in acceleration of adoption over COVID-19 because we know a lot of businesses, a lot of public health bodies, governments are struggling with citizen outreach right now. And there are a lot of people who really want an urgent response to a query uh, who are calling into a contact center. And for us to be able to serve that opportunity, it's really humbling for us. And we've seen that trend over the last three months. Definitely, definitely. And and Audio Codes has so much experience in contact centers 
and what we're able to to deploy uh, within you know just a couple of weeks, we we have the capabilities to enable the two together, and uh, we definitely invite uh, uh, developers, customers to challenge both companies. Time is almost up. I, I really want to, uh, you know, thank you, and we appreciate the opportunity and, and taking the time. And uh, it looks like that we we have a long term uh, relationship uh, coming ahead. And um, feel free to summarize or or, or share uh, anything else uh, that uh, that comes up. No, thanks. Thanks a lot, Kobe. As I said, it has been amazing working with you and your team. Um, and and I, I'm really, really excited about this collaboration. I'm sure this will go a long way in benefiting developers around the world uh, who want to bring conversation AI quickly to their contact center. So, um, so really looking forward to that. Definitely. So thank you for taking the time. Be safe and health. Take care. Thanks, Kobe. Stay safe. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.